Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursdays. Um, today I'm super excited, I'm going to be reviewing a foil kit from you all. Um, it's from Beatles, which you all know is a brand that I absolutely love and adore. Um, they have a nail art foil set. I did haul this in one of my recent um, Amazon nail supply hauls. And um, I just want to see how it works out. So I'm going to test it for you all here on camera and unbox it again as well. So... Um, it's supposed to come with the foil glue and 10 styles of foil stickers. So inside the box, you will get um, these little foil stickers here, which are actually really cute. They come with uh, two lace prints, two animal prints, two floral, um, two kind of springtime butterfly scents, and then two marble prints. And that's the reason I actually picked up this set because I wanted to have a variety of different foils kind of in one. And so it's nice that they offered something like this. And then the other thing that comes in the kit here is just the actual foil glue itself. Um, that's what the packaging looks like. It says it's the transfer gel and it's 15 ml. So this is what the bottle looks like. It is definitely a full size bottle. So I'm happy that they included a full size um, within the kit. That's always nice when companies do that. Um, and again, their packaging is super cute. I love the hair, gorgeous. Okay, they're gorgeous. It's just so cute. Anywho, um, let's see here. I'm gonna read the instructions really quick to see how to properly apply this. It says, apply with built-in brush like other nail polish. It requires UV LED lamp to dry. Um, UV lamp for one to two minutes, LED lamp for uh, 40 to 60 seconds. And so, yeah, I've seen a couple of videos. It seems like you're just supposed to apply the foil glue apply the actual foil and then get it here in the lamp. So I have the actual foils from Beatles, but I do have a few foils that I hauled from Shein that I wanna give a try too. I have uh, some of these, which is I think kind of like the Aurora type you know, foils. I have some more marble type foils here. And then I also have like this like cracked, um, I don't even know what this is, but it's cute. And so I kinda wanna try these out too. So. I'm going to hop right on into this video. I think I want to start obviously with Beatles and I do have my little practice stand here. I'm finally putting this bad boy to use. Um, also got this from Amazon. So all the products I'm talking about here, I'm going to just leave a link down below. So um, you all can get your hands on them if you want to try them out too. I kept this one clear, this tip clear in particular. There's a certain design that I want to do. So I figured I might as well test it out first before I try it on myself. So I guess what I'll do here is, here is I'll try like a floral print and maybe this cute little butterfly print from this particular set and then try one from here, one from here, and this one next. So that's my plan of action here. I also have this marble foil too from Shein. I forgot about this one. This one to use. I kind of want to see how that looks too. So we'll see here as I go which ones I decide to use. And then um, I do have some extra tools to kind of help assist me with this. Um, I have just these little scissors here. And then I also have. Um, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Also, I have this little silicone pusher here. So I'll use that to try and like push down the foils if need be. So from here, I'm going to first try out this, um, they're so pretty, I like all these different options here. Um, I think I'm going to try out this little full print here for the first one and then I'm going to do this cute little butterfly set here for the second one. And I also have some uh, Beatles gel polishes that I'm going to put for the backgrounds. This is a nice set I got. It actually included like some tools and um, stripping tape and flakes and all that stuff too. It's a really good affordable kit. Um, but this has like a lot of nice colors that I think will go with all of the foils that I have here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop right on into this. I think I'm gonna start with this floral, 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 floral foil first. And it looks like this color right here would match perfectly with that. So that's uh, 941. And this right here is also the length of the foil. It's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty decent size length here. So, yeah, I'm still going. So I think you get a pretty, pretty decent size. Um, I saw a couple of different ways of people doing it. I think I'm just gonna cut the, cut the little piece out that I'm gonna be using and then kind of go from there. So like 
this to here. So I'm just gonna cut this little piece here, like so. Okay, I guess I'll apply two coats of this nail polish. And actually, while I'm at it, I am going to go ahead and do um, two coats of this one as well for this floral design here. And then for the marble that I wanna try out, so I think for this one, I really wanna try out like this blue color here. So I'm gonna pull this one out to try. And I am going to just put, um, I'm also gonna put that with the brown color. Okay, the brown color here and then, and then over here, I'm gonna do this against a clear nail. So I wanna do it, I thought we, I had like a green color here, but I guess I don't. I guess I would do this with like this bluish color here. The last one I'll try is with this like white and gold foil here. And so I'll do a white background for that one. So we're gonna have two this color, one this color, and then one white nail. And then that one's gonna stay clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep these and I will be right back. Okay, so these have all been cured. This is just one coat of polish. As you all can see, this beetle polish is like super pigmented, but um, yeah, so I did one coat for each, and then now I'm just gonna go in with the foil glue. I'm just gonna do one nail at a time because I did see somewhere that like, the timing of it really matters. Like when you um, put the foil glue on, you can't let it sit too long because I guess maybe some of the heat from the um, curing helps with the adhesion. So I'm just gonna go with this nail right here and I'm gonna apply a nice thin layer of the foil glue to it. Just take some of that off and then kinda see what happens from there. So again, a nice thin layer. And I am gonna cure it for the full two minutes just to hopefully get maximum adhesion here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into the lamp for two minutes. Okay, so I'm just now getting this out the lamp. It's been in there for two minutes. It does look like there's some stickiness. I'm just gonna kinda tap it and see. Okay, it feels slightly sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of here and apply the foil and see how this goes, you guys. So I'm gonna just apply it like this. Okay, looks like it <clears throat> it did bend. I saw in another video, which I should have did this before I went all the way in, is that they kind of snipped the sides and that allowed it to kind of lay a little bit flatter. So let's see if that works for me. I'm supposed to be using my tool. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a clean pull here, but this is my first attempt, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, it seems like it's trying. I see a lot of air bubbles. So I guess that's the importance of putting um, that colored um, nail polish underneath so that um, if there is like any bubbles or things like that, um, you know, you can't really tell. So I do see that it is working. The more that I'm rubbing it, the more I can see like it kind of lifting on its own. Oops, I'm rubbing kind of hard there. Let's see. I can get the sides rubbed down really good. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it and see what happens here. Okay. You guys, I think there's another piece stuck here. Not bad at all. Okay, so this is what's left on the foil right here. And look at this. This turned out really cute. Okay, I'm not mad at this at all. 
Like you can see there are some spots here where I maybe missed a few, but overall, it's not bad at all. This is really cute. I'm shocked actually, I'm shocked that it worked. So here in the back, it's a little bit bare. And that's honestly because these foils are a little bit on the um, shorter side, as you can see. But the foils that I got from Shein, they're a lot longer, so I know they'll cover like the full nail. But this is great for just wanting to kind of try it out and see how it works. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. So that's lovely. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply a top coat to this. Um, I'm just going to use a basic regular top coat. Um, that's gorgeous. You guys, I think it actually worked. So we'll come back to this once the, the top coat dries and do like a final little review here, but this is nice. I'm impressed. Okay, so this has me excited to work with foils. <laughs> it's actually not that hard to do at all. I was a little bit scared and intimidated by it, but this stuff is easy peasy. Like, <laughs> I like it. It's very quick, very easy. Like, look how pretty that is. It's like they, the foils do all the work for you. Whoa, okay. So, this is a lesson that I'm learning right here on the spot with you all. That's interesting. So the, the regular top coat that I use, it looks like it is disintegrating the actual design itself. So I might have to try and do this nail again. So this is an FYI then. Don't use regular top coat. <laughs> With this, I think you actually have to use a gel top coat because as you can see, it's kind of disintegrating here. So that's interesting. So I'll try to maybe do this nail over, but we'll see. That's really strange here. Like now it's looking very like, it looks like it's getting disintegrated. It's not as clear as it just was. So yeah, okay, that kind of sucks because my first little attempt went really good. Aww. Okay, well like I said, I'm learning with you all here on camera. So. The next nail I do, I will not use regular top coat. I'll just use gel top coat. I think that's gonna be really important for sealing in your design. So that's just an FYI here. I'm gonna go in with the next nail. Again, you just apply a really thin layer of the transfer gel, and then you just cure it for a full two minutes, you guys. I think that's gonna be key. Okay, so this one's just cured. This one just cured for two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off here. And um, I'm actually going to go ahead and use this beautiful marble, oops, this beautiful marble print from Shein. This one here, I've already cured a piece. I'm sorry, I already cut out a piece here. And I'm just going to lay this right over top and see how this goes. As you can see, it's a lot longer. And I'm just going to press straight down the middle first, okay? And then I'm going to cut the sides here, well, all four corners, just kind of cut towards the nail just to kind of allow it to maybe lay a little bit flatter. I want to see if that technique actually works. So I have it pressed in the middle here. I'm going to use my little silicone tool and just start pressing up and down first. And then I'm going to do, let's see, the, this side. And then I'm going to come over here and do this side. Yeah, I don't know that it helped to cut it, but it does look like it's coming off, which is nice. And again, you just want to just keep rubbing it until literally you see the actual design separate from the foil itself. Like so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally I'm going to keep rubbing until it starts to kind of come off itself. I think that's how I know that it's on there pretty good. That was kind of starting to separate there. Okay. I do have one little wrinkle over here, but I think it's going to be all right. And then now I'm going to just rub with my hands. And then I think I'm ready for the peel, you guys. Let's see. Oops. Okay, let's go ahead and peel it off and see what we got. Okay, all right, so this one's not too bad either. Um, I think I didn't rub enough in the corners over here. 
So actually, I'm going to just go back through with it and see if I can just get the rest of it to stick here. See if that works. Oops, my little sticky tack ain't working no more. Okay, it kind of comes out a little splotchy on this one, so I don't know if maybe it's because I used the Shein foil or not, but it didn't come off as smooth as that first one did, so I'm not sure what the difference is here. Or maybe, maybe for the Shein foils, I don't need to let it heat up as long, so. Yeah, that's what this one looks like here. Not horrible. I mean, you can still make do with this design, right? Like the back here is really splotchy and whatnot, but it's not horrible, you know? So that's the marble design from Shein. Next, I'm gonna do another one from the Beatles kit. I'm gonna do this really beautiful butterfly design. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foil glue and cure that one for a full two minutes here. Okay, so that just finished curing for two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and apply this foil. I've already cut out a little piece here. And I want to make sure I kind of get that love on there. I'm going to lay it flat like so. And then I'm going to just press it down with my hands here. And just keep kind of rubbing it in until um, it starts to separate. The foil starts to separate. This one looks like it's going to turn out really pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this looks really cute. little butterfly here at the bottom I love that it has that the word love on there got this really pretty flower here I hope that comes off another little butterfly over here and we're just gonna keep rubbing until I can't rub anymore okay that's that right here I'm kind of sad this little flower didn't get on here it's really pretty though okay it looks like it's transferring pretty easily And again, you really just rub until you really can't rub anymore. I think that looks good, so let's see. Nope, I see some of it didn't come up, so let me just keep rubbing over here on the side here. Same with this here. I hope that love comes up. That's the one I really want to come up. It looks okay. And let me just rub this down and rub this down. Okay, let's see here. Okay, ooh, you guys. Okay, so I feel like the Beatles foil works really good with the Beatles uh, foil glue. Like, that is just stunning. Look how cute that is. You see the love one here? The cute butterflies and flowers. Like, it's absolutely stunning. I love this, okay. So yeah, this turned out really cute. Again, I'm not going to use regular top coat. I'm gonna use regular top coat. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna use regular top coat. I'm gonna use gel top coat. And then I'm just gonna go through and do this one here. I'm gonna use this kind of cracked looking foil here. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that really quick. Another thin layer of foil glue. So since this is from Shein, I'm actually just going to cure this for one minute and see if that makes a difference with how the foil transfers to, um, as opposed to the Beatles one. Because the Beatles one, when I used two minutes, it worked great. And then when I did it for this Shein one, it, it kind of was splotchy. So I want to do it for just one minute and see if that makes a difference. So that's cured for 60 seconds now. I'm going to go ahead and take it off of here. And then go ahead and apply the foil and see if that makes a difference for these Shein foils because that first marble one did not turn out too well. So, okay, that already feels, okay. I think that made a difference. That already feels like it's sticking a lot quicker and a lot easier. Yeah, okay. That's what the difference is. Curing time matters, you guys, for what, whatever foil you're using. So. I feel like for the Shein stickers, one minute with this Beatles foil glue is all you need. And with the actual Beatles foils, you definitely need like that two minutes, you know? So that's a good learning thing there. I'm just gonna keep pressing it until it kind of starts to separate. And 
definitely separating really good here at the top. Just want to make sure the sides start separating like that. Looks like they are doing great. Okay, yeah, I think this one's going to be a lot better than that, that other one. Wants to fill up. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Wow. Look at that. So you see how clean of a peel that was on here as opposed to like this one? Yeah. Okay. Look, you guys. Look how beautiful this is. I love it. Wow. It turned out really great. Look at that. Okay, y'all. So, yeah. It looks like it definitely needs one minute for the Shein foils. Like, I don't need the full two minutes for that. So, that's that. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and do this. It's kind of going to be more so of an abstract design. Um, I don't even need that much foil to do it with. But um, I'm going to, I'm going to be using this foil here. So, it's going to be more of an abstract design. So, again, I'm just going to use a little bit kind of off to the side here. So my brush is kind of going to do all the artwork for me. Like so. I hope this vision comes to life the way I wanted it to because if it does not, I'd be really sad. So like that. And I'm going to go ahead and cure that just for one minute since I'm using the Shein foil. So yeah, I don't like the fact that this kind of came a little bit messed up so it's already kind of splotchy before I even get a chance to use it myself. The whole one isn't like that though so I guess I can't complain too much. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and I need to be specific about how I apply it. I really want to apply it just kind of like to the outer side here. Press it down. Yeah that one minute makes all the difference for these Shein foils. Like that's amazing. I can already see it kind of lifting off the nail here and I'm just gonna just kind of Press it in as much as possible. Like so. Okay, you can see that already kind of came up. Oh, look, this black is gonna be really pretty though. Okay, I'm here for this. Okay, looks like that's it. Oh, look at that. I mean, it turned out really beautiful, you guys. That's really, really beautiful. Look at that. So, there is a couple of, like, spots, but I think that's because, like I said, that little piece of foil I used was kind of crumped up. But, honestly, still looks good overall, considering, you know? So, this is what's left here. And I actually have nail art polish that I got from my Dollar Tree. So I'm going to try that with this design because this is how I actually plan to do this design. There is a gold that comes with the Beatles kit, but I just don't want to go through the hassle of trying to use a nail art brush. So I'm just going to use this for now. So this is what this looks like. If you all are looking for some affordable, just kind of like liner brushes. It's not gel polish, but I mean, it's regular polish and it'll dry fairly quickly. Yeah, definitely check out your local Dollar Tree and see what you might be able to find. So this is what I'm going to use for this particular design here. And I kind of want to just go around like the edges of the, the foil to give it like that gold like highlight. Like so. so I'm going to just leave that like that. I'm going to let it air dry because it is regular polish. So that's what this is looking like. I wonder if silver would have been a better choice for this. It's cute though, either way. So I am going to go ahead and top coat all of these and give you all my thoughts on them. Yeah, okay. I thought my camera was filming, but it wasn't. <laughs> so I actually decided to try one more nail. I'm having a lot of fun with these foils. And this one is the other marble design from the Beatles set. I was a little sad that this one um, got messed up with the regular uh, nail polish. So I figured I'd give another Beatles um, uh, another Beatles foil ago and so so far so good um, I've just been rubbing this in I just applied the foil glue and cured it for two minutes and it's looking like it's gonna peel off quite nicely here so I'm gonna go ahead and peel off with you all 
and see. Wow. Look at that marble. It's like the perfect marble. Look at this. Yeah, these foils are on point. Look at this. This is absolutely stunning. Can you see it? Okay, yeah. All right, so I am a really big fan of this uh, Beatles foil set. Um, this is the, the nail art foil set is what it's called. I'm a huge fan of this. I like it. Um, it does play well with foils from other brands, but you do have to play around with the curing time. So this nail here and this nail here, they're both from Beatles as well as this nail. You have to cure it for a full um, two minutes in order for the foils to transfer properly. And then all other foils, if you cure for 60 seconds, it tends to work out great. So you see how this one applied pretty much flawlessly. This one applied pretty much flawlessly. That chrome came out really pretty. Um, but this one was where I had cured it for two minutes. And you see, I think it made the, the foil glue just a little bit too dry. So yeah, that's my thoughts on these. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat them. Again, you all, you wanna use a regular gel polish top coat with this because when I tried to use just my regular polish, it like literally disintegrated, <laughs> which made me so sad. So let me go ahead and apply top coat and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna cure these for 60 seconds. Okay, so this is what they all look like. Oh, they're so beautiful. This is what they look like top coated. Um, that top coat really just brings everything to life. So again, this is the marble one from the Beatles set. This is the one from Shein. And honestly, once you apply the top coat to the one from Shein, it don't look half bad. I mean, it's still a little bit splotchy around the corners here, but if that was a design on the nail, you could totally make that work by adding like maybe some glitter or like some ling to it or whatnot. Um, so that didn't turn out half bad. Um, this one turned out absolutely gorgeous. Like that's probably my favorite one, the butterfly one. And then this crack nail here, I think those two are my favorite. And then we have that chrome nail, which actually turned out beautifully too. This is the, a design that I wanted to kind of play around with. Um, I don't know that I like this particular gold that I use, but um, that chrome was beautiful. And so I think that design that I had in my mind is gonna work out really nicely. It's kinda gonna be a clear nail with, um, a clear slash nude nail with a chrome, uh, kind of sideways French. Um, so yeah, you guys. And then this one right here, this one actually turned out quite beautifully as well, but unfortunately I applied regular top coat to it. And when I did that, it kind of disintegrated the nail a little bit. But to be honest with you, um, it doesn't look bad though. It kind of looks like just like a vintage, you know, design or whatnot. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed um, this tutorial with me kind of playing around with foil glue for the first time. I actually think it turned out quite nicely for it being my first time ever trying it out. Um, my recommendation for you all would be to uh, just test out different uh, curing times with the foil glue to see what works best with what brand. For sure with the Beatles brand and their foils, you have to cure for a full two minutes for it to transfer, I mean, flawlessly. And then for other brands, it's looking like, at least with Shein anyway, uh, 60 seconds is a sweet spot for that one. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know down below which one is your favorite design. Um, do you like the marbles, the butterfly? What's your favorite one? Um, I would love to hear it down in the comments. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday videos. So if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I would love to have you. And as always, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.